Top of the lineup is back, baby. Ew. Ew. Episode number 34. Yes. Post. We're back. Uh, yeah, we're back. Post uh, trade deadline. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite times of the year. I know, dude. It was it was a good one. This is this was a good one. This is probably the best trade deadline I could remember. Honestly, yeah. In a good yeah. It's it was it's great, but it's also sad, right? When you mm-hmm. look at it from a business aspect, it's great. But when you talk about like just you know baseball and connections, it's so fucking sad that they just look at players. Like they're just numbers. And obviously I get it. It's a business. It's just so sad that they're just looked at, you know, numbers, you know what I mean? They're just another, another number to their algorithm or their analytics like that. That's just, just it. an employee, just an employee, just another number. Yeah. Um, you know, 2016 was one hell of a year <laughs> and uh, it's gone. Oh man. It is gone. An end of an era, and I mean, wow! Just wow. I did not see them trading all three of them. I on, yeah, I I didn't see that either. I mean, at least keep Rizzo, like please keep Rizzo. Yeah. But that's the uh, one. That's the one. And oh my god, dude! Actually, I'll I'll talk I'll talk about this in our what grinds my gear segment. I'll I'll I'm, I'm gonna add that. I'm, I'm going to hold it. I'm going to hold it because he's holding it. Oh, my well, God. I'm not going to hold it. It was horrible um, to see them go. Um, but they deserve it. They deserve to go play for championship teams. Um, and they all homered in their debut. <laughs> yeah. They all homered in their debut. Rizzo, I think, is pretty much on fucking base every single one of his plate appearances. Yep. Uh, Chris Bryant, it's like he was a giant his whole fucking life. Dude, he looks so good. He looks so good in that uni. Hey, and hold on. We have to stop this real quick. Folks, if, you know, obviously the the day one people will know this, but Mm. anyone else that's new to this, Mm. our boy Juan, who is never wrong, made that prediction. Episode one, baby. He made that prediction from 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 day one, okay? And we talked about the trade deadline, I don't know, earlier in the year, maybe even last yeah. year. He predicted this. And what's crazy is that I play MLB show, I'm a big simmer. What I did was I traded for Chris Bryant, okay? And it worked. Mm. I won the World Series. Just saying. So, do you remember my second Chris Bryant take? That he was going to had- MVP? Uh, he was going to win not the MVP, but the World Series MVP. Ah, My bold yep, prediction yep. this year was Chris Bryant was going to win the World Series MVP, mm-hmm. and it was not going to be for the Chicago Cubs. That is true. Let's hope I'm wrong. This is one that I I would be okay with <laughs> being wrong. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's oh crazy. God. Yeah, he looks good. Uh, Baez, you know, with the Mets. That trade doesn't do anything for me. It it doesn't. I. I don't know. I feel like this the 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 uh, the theme of this trade they trade uh, trade deadline was overkill. Mm. Okay, overkill. You got two shortstops, right? You, you you obviously with you know with uh, with the Mets, they're you can you got to take whoever you can get at this point. You know, what <laughs> I mean, they're, they're 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 fighting. You know, they're they're battling. But I, I feel like, you know, it's a bit overkill. You got you got there, and then even the Dodgers, right? You have Seager and you have Turner. It's a bit overkill, but fuck it, you know? <laughs> we yeah. got to win. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> that trade specifically, so the Dodgers made the biggest acquisition, mm-hmm. getting Max Scherzer and Trey Turner. Trey Turner's, I mean, what, top 10 player right now? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's pretty fair to say he's he's top 10. He's probably closer like to nine or 10, but he's top 10. So I think this one hurts me. This trade hurts me because what it tells me is that Seager is not going to be back next year. Mm. Because I think Trey Turner is the shortstop for next year. And they're okay to let, let Seager walk. That's, that's what it tells me, which sucks. I didn't think of it that way. I, 
That's that's true. I thought you were talking about what hurts is that these fucking big organizations, you know, literally, literally can get whoever they want. I mean, the, it, it's crazy. You know what I mean? And and don't get me wrong. If the A's wanted to do that, they could probably do that. But it's just so crazy that, you know, the Dodgers could can make these moves. You know what I mean? And it's uh, it's a bit saddening, you know what I mean? But it is what it is. It's a, it's a business. You know, I, I just, the, the reason why I'm saying it's sad is because you look at football, right? Fucking Patriots were always, you know, in the playoffs, right? Steelers always in the playoffs. You look at NBA warriors, always in the playoffs, fucking Lakers always in the playoffs is because they were, you know, they're able to make the acquisitions uh, that were needed. Baseball was something different. You know what I mean? You, you, you know, you, sometimes you have random teams, in the playoffs that's just how it goes and i just feel like th- this is another thing to confirm the dodgers have literally been the playoffs for like the past fucking 10 years and it, it's because of the not talent stopping. they have not it's, stopping anytime soon yeah it, it's not gonna stop you know and it's exciting it's exciting for the dodgers and don't get me wrong they have a lot of players that they built up over these years but you look at some of the acquisitions that they've made over these past years and it's been it's it's been crazy. But you know what? Let's let's give them some respect. How many yeah. players have they really acquired that are top tier? Mookie Betts That's true. obviously comes obviously, to mind. Yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously, right? Mm-hmm. And now Max Scherzer. Yeah. Um, and you know, <laughs> Bauer, unfortunately. But yeah. Really, outside of that, you look at who are their top players? Cody Bellinger drafted. Yep. Will Smith drafted. Mm-hmm. Max Muncie developed. Yeah. Chris Taylor traded for. He yep. was a nobody. Um, Justin Turner, he was a washed up utility guy. Mm-hmm. Um, AJ Pollock, whatever. He wasn't anything great with the Dodgers. Um, you know, and you just keep the list going goes down on. Walker list. Bueller, yeah. every the list goes yeah, Walker on. Walker Bueller and, drafted Kershaw. And you have drafted. to excuse us. You have to excuse us. Our we have uh, wonderful doggy fans in the background. Yeah. We've we've been oh, having is... more and more fans just chop it up in the yeah. background. It's kind of yeah. like you know ESPN. You know when they're at the Rose Bowl, you got all the fans going crazy. That we've just grown so much. Now we have you know a bunch of fans in the background. Gardeners, dogs, you name Gardeners, it, they're yeah, all invited. You you name yep, it. Yep, yep, yep. But uh, but no, yeah, no. That's that's what I'm saying. It's 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 sad because like that, that it happens, right? It it's just you know, it is what it is. But yeah, you got to give them credit. You got to give credit to the front office too, right? Just making those deals. I mean, mm-hmm. if you think about it, if I'm correct, right? That that Puig, what was that trade that really kind of like was the it was the, the Puig, catalyst Kemp, to this? Puig yep. Kemp and Alex Wood to the Reds, and they got uh, um. Josiah Gray. Yep. And Herbert uh, Ruiz. Is that his name? Yep. Kyber yep. Ruiz. Ky- yep. Ky- yeah. So that, I mean, that's like a long game thinking, you know what I mean? Like, hey, these guys could be great for us or they could be some good trading pieces. You know what I mean? And they definitely were. So um, kudos to the Dodgers front office. Obviously, they got a lot of money, but also – they have some smart guys there making those deals. I mean, they could have they could have easily, you know, picked up some, you know, other big big names, but obviously this there's a strategic, you know, plan to this. So, big shout out to uh to all you guys up there. <laughs> so, so who are the winners and who are the losers in your opinion? Um okay, so obviously Dodgers like that that's that's a given for me. I mean, I, I feel like this is a good Scherzer, you know, replaces Bauer uh I don't want to even mention Bauer's name at this point because you know we all the shit that's going on unfortunately uh but Scherzer you know good good pickup um Turner of course uh you know they they pick up um Duffy as well obviously he's injured too but he's he would be a good you know good spot starter and even a relief pitcher you never know long relief so um yeah Dodgers for sure um let's see even though the giants didn't make a lot of big deals this definitely yes chris bryant yes not enough for me okay so when the brewers picked up cc sabathia was that enough 
Would you would you say that the they they were an ace away? Did they win the World Series that year? No, but would you say at not. that point at that point nope. would you say they were winners? No, when, no, because they didn't they didn't end up winning the World Series. So no, no. but I, well, we're that, not there at yet. At that but point, you think, at that point though, they they got the best starting pitcher. CC yeah. was the best starting pitcher. Chris Bryant's not the best outfielder by any means, and though he is a top, he's not the best the brewers went out and got the best yeah but they were no, winners though. no yeah, i mean no yes, that, yes that's the problem is they didn't get the best did they go I mean, get mike trout you can't they get mike not. trout oh that's not my fucking problem i know but this was this not guy my fucking problem this guy Look, in terms of hitters was the best hitter on the market during the trade deadline mm, yes who, who else we gonna say Frazier? Yeah, no, no. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I, 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 you're right. You're right. Right. They did. My question then becomes: They didn't help the bullpen, and you and I both know. Come October, what wins you ball games? Bullpen. I mean, we've we've talked say? about it. What we've did... talked about that their bullpen yeah, needed help. The Dodgers. I told you the Dodgers are gonna go as far as Kenley mm-hmm. Jansen goes, and that's that's gonna be the problem. And they don't have, you know, I know Rogers and um, what's his name? McGee have been doing good for them, but dude, that's not, those aren't the guys that you want back there. You, here, you my, put them my up argument against here. Melanson. Yeah. He's great with the Padres <laughs> now, but my argument here is when I look at winners and losers is did the team get better? Did the team get better? Because of Chris Bryant? Yes. So, so yes. Yes, they got yes. better. Here's my thing, though, is you have to now compare them to their counterparts, right? The Dodgers got way better. Yeah. The, Gi- the Giants improved. Yes. Do not get me wrong. This is a great trade to bring Chris Bryant over. But they did not get as good as they could have. I think. I, I mean, hey, they, they tried. They oh, tried. I'm, they I'm were sure they talks. did. I'm sure they did. I, I just wish one more move, whether it been yes, a starter. I, honestly, I I, I, yeah, I was pretty mad about this. I was like, fucking get Barrios, please. Or just John Gray. I don't fucking care. Just get me mm-hmm. get me a pitcher. One more arm, whether just it was a get, starter yes. or a reliever. They needed one more arm. And that's where they lost, in my opinion. Now, do not get me wrong. Chris Bryant, top three trades that, mm-hmm. were, that were made. But overall, I think they take the L here. Ah, I, I'm gonna have to disagree with you on that one, but that that's Overall, fine. This is why we do. So and and then and so I'm gonna bring. Oh, it down okay. To my time team. out. Time out. Though you you just you called Chris Bryant the the World Series MVP. If they if they get there, <laughs> I, I don't. Right now, how it sits, I don't think the Giants make the World Series. Hey, I mean you. We've you know, said it not, on paper. You, hey. On paper, quote unquote, on paper, the Giants weren't supposed to fucking be there. And no, both of us. And here I, they are. I, I, here I'm they are. guilty of it. I am guilty of it. I did not think the they Giants should not were be where be they're good. fucking at. They right should now. not. But it's happening. Here we are. Magic. It, it, here it is. Ugh, but don't use that word. Hey, it's. <laughs> but it's not even near. So maybe there. Hey, yeah, it's a, there it is. I don't know. There it is. We'll, we'll see. We, you, you never know. You never. So know. bringing it to the A's. And so this is why, and, uh, and I go. know this, this could be a bias. Yeah. This is going to be biased. This is going to be biased. Mine was biased too, obviously. Yeah. But... No, the, there is bias yeah. to this. The A's, the A's did better than the Astros. The Astros okay. did not I'll make that. much improvements. So in my opinion, the A's are a winner. Who are the A's competing for in, in their division slash wild card? The Astros. Mm-hmm. They got better. That's true. And <laughs> fucking way better than the mariners yeah the mariners rest in peace um that was a horrible 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 move you trade graveman um that pisses off the team you go get castillo from the rays he's i mean it's the same exact pitcher he's literally the same pitcher you got the same closer that you already had and now you just pissed off your entire team so it, it was pointless yeah uh, yeah, and that's that's uh, that's another thing that we have in one of our later segments that we can kind of dissect yeah, but, a little bit more. But yeah, to me, the A's are a winner. Um, yeah, I, it's sad, honestly. I I thought I you know I, I already told you you know Lazardo at best you know potentially two three spot starter whatever. But 
it, it was sad, you know, to, to see him go. It's great that he's back home. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I, I don't, I didn't fucking get the trade. You're a straight up Lazardo for Marte. It's dude. It's a it's rental. Rough. It's a fucking mm-hmm. rental for what? Two, two months. And then, and this is Dallas. What Dallas Bray was saying for a rental, you traded away a person who's still developing and the A's contributed to this because you're like, Hey, you're a starter. No way. Actually, we're going to put you in the bullpen. Oh, wait, actually, we're going to make you a spot starter. Actually, this, actually that. He's fucking 22, 23 years old. What do you expect of a person like that? Like Their to- biggest problem was they were trying to teach him how to pitch. Yeah. They wanted him to pitch a different way than mm-hmm. he liked to pitch. So Dallas Braden talked about this too. Yep. They wanted him to throw fastballs up in the zone. That wasn't the kind of pitcher he was. He didn't like throwing it up in the zone. You got to pitch to your pitcher's strengths, yep. really. Uh, if you're if you're a low fastball pitcher, go for it. I don't care if you throw 98, 96, 92. If that's your zone and that's where you feel comfortable, that's where you go. Mm-hmm. You got to pitch to your success. So, but the analytics, the yeah, analytics are going to tell no, you, no, fuck that. Yeah, that's where that shit has the to human go. psyche. You can't, you can't predict shit coming from that, dude. You no. can't predict how he's going to respond. And obviously, he didn't respond too well. And Look, I these, wish him these the best. Hitters, you know, these hitters can hit 97 exactly. up in the zone, and mm-hmm. they could drive it. So, yeah, don't give me that shit. But the reason why this trade was okay is A.J. Puck, who I, I was ready to throw the towel in. That's... I was done. You know, I was talking to you off off of there, but that was the guy that I thought was gone for sure, and I was Send okay him. with it. Send him. But he, he's lighting up AAA right now, and they're ready mm-hmm. to call him up, and yeah. they are going to use him out of the bullpen which this best option. is a secret fucking weapon. This it's is the best option. B watch out. If the A's get to the playoffs, this is a pitcher you do not want to face. Dude. I mean, you know, he comes up initially. He was supposed to be a starter and obviously with injuries and shit like that. I, I think, yeah, I think, you know, he, he'll do, he'll do great. And I mean, he struggled right with injuries. So we'll, uh, we'll see, but no, honestly, I agree with you. I, I think, I think if, if all goes well, when if puck is called up, I think he's, he's going to stay. I, I think he yep. can, he can stay. And, and yeah, this to, might be, be it. Compete. This is good. A um, couple other winners and losers for me. I got the Yankees winning the AL East just as far as not winning it, not winning the division, but winning as far as trades go, um, which is quite surprising. I still don't think they win the division to be quite honest. Mm-hmm. However, they won the trade deadline. And in my opinion, the Rays and the Red Sox didn't do enough. Mm. The Rays yeah. needed to do a little bit more. They got Nelly Cruz and that was about it. Yeah. Um, I but wish they yeah, traded I, away Rich Hill. They traded Adamas earlier, earlier in the year. year. Yep. Yeah. They And now you have Glass now, right? Which was the update, but you know, now he's getting surgery. So yeah, Tommy John out for this year and likely next year. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah, it's, yeah, I don't, they could have done better for sure. They should have done better. They yeah. Should have. And you know, here's the other thing. And you might, you, you're probably going to disagree with me on this one. I don't think the Yankees are winners in, in this. I, I really don't. I don't think Rizzo, don't get me wrong. He's good, but he's kind of past his his you know his greatness, and, and you know with um, who else they got? They got Heaney from the Angels, right? Gallo. Starting pitcher, and Gallo. yeah, Gallo of course. But Gallo. Heaney, you know, he's can only can only take you so far. Yeah, and Gallo, yeah, and don't get me wrong, Gallo's great too. But I don't think this. I don't think they really needed it. You no. know what I mean? You needed the Agreed. pitching. You know what I mean? Agreed. Your fucking your whole pitching staff is getting COVID like every fucking two days. You need pitchers. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's uh, I I think the the day after you know Gallo got traded, they lost like fourteen to zero, and then somebody like put like can he can Gallo pitch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know that that is a good point. I just think they made better trades than the Red Sox and the Rays did. That's my only point. I still think the Rays and the Red Sox are better teams. 
Yeah, I mean, with the Red Sox picking up Schwarber, great. But again, you know, I think the theme for us is just pitching. You know what I mean? And obviously, always will this, be this go around. This go around for sure. There was a lot of hitters. You know, a lot of hitters mm-hmm. on the market. There, I, there weren't a lot of big, you know, pitchers. But here's the thing. You know, for organizations, you make that shit happen. Those are the ones that wow me. You know what I mean? Like, oh shit, I didn't even think you guys could get this guy. You know what I mean? Those are the Arios to the Jays. Yeah. Like that, that's that what was I, a surprising what I one want. to me. Yeah, exactly. That's what I, I want to see. Like you get get guys like that. You know, the the White Sox again, overkill, right? Over overkill. This pickup. was a stupid trade. This is, in my opinion, the stupidest <laughs> trade of the day. What, with Kimbrell. Yeah. Well, actually, I'm sorry. The Kendall Graveman trade is the stupidest one. This yeah. is number two. Yeah. And again, overkill, right? Hey, we got a closer already. Let's get another closer and fuck. I don't know how they're going to do this. You know, Hendricks is or, a setup man now, which is, in my which, opinion, I think Hendricks is better, but. Yeah, I, it's, I mean, well, I, I don't know. We'll, but it ends situational, up, right? you know uh, what? It ends up being down to the bullpen. Now you have two fucking closers yep. and Hendricks has shown it. you. Hendricks has shown it. you he'll pitch three or four innings. He doesn't give a fuck. Right. And so, I mean, it ends up being a good move for the bullpen right to lengthen the bullpen big oh time. yeah and that honestly that's dominant closers that's what hurt them towards the end of the last you know in yeah. the playoffs the is pitching the, the pitching. pitching yep they definitely improved starting pitching right you yep. got Lance, Lance Lynn. Lynn and then now you, you got you pick up Hendrix this year right and then and now you have Kimbrel like the again they they knew what the problem was and addressed it um honest question do you think they can win a playoff series Against two, that's that's my thing. I don't think, honestly, and I know I said they were going to be the 2021 World Series champs, so I'm still kind of fucking banking on that one. They could. They could be, but I just, dude, I don't know if they could beat anyone, to I be think quite it's, honest. I think it's just that their division is so weak that, yeah. you know, they, they've been able to maintain. And I, th- I think about it. They had like three or four fucking injuries, right? Dudes, they're finally coming mm-hmm. back. But they were still able to manage wins, and and that no offense to them, right? They're they're a great team, but the division is pretty pretty weak. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. and it's I don't like, know. Do you think honestly? Do you think they could beat the A's in a five game series? I think so. Now, I think they can now. It, it's close. It's close. I'm not saying the A's would. They're just not going to come here's out the and whoop them. Here's the thing. They are not going to sweep them. That that's the no. thing. It would be very All, interesting. no matter how good, no matter how good the White Sox are, they're they're still fairly young, right? They don't not a lot of them seen that that playoff. Like they've only played what one, two fucking games, three games. I don't know, but yeah, I, I don't. They're not going to dominate. It's going to be not, they're not going to be any team from the AL East. It's no, yeah, I don't it's, think it's, they be. It's going to be a fight. Of the top four. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a fight, dude. It's it, it's going to be tough for them. I don't. Honestly, I don't – I can't think of one team that come playoff time is just going to just sweep teams. And, yeah, Dodgers on paper, but even last year they fucking battled with the Rays who yeah. rarely had anyone. And the know? Padres. That was a yeah. tough series for Dude, them Dude, I'm going to – I don't care. The, the NL West is going to be exciting. You know, wild card game uh, is going to be We're going to be there, I, dude. We're going we to be there right in the thick of it. have to. I think I think the Rays are the team that run the table. Mm. They just find a fucking way they every find single way. year. They're going to yeah. win the division, in my opinion. I think the wild card game is going to come down to Boston and the A's. Mm. I don't know if Oakland could catch up to Houston, which is fucking crazy because their rotation just doesn't do anything for me. Yeah. It's solid. Don't get me wrong. It's their offense. I know it's their offense, but – their rotation just doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, I mean, I'm not scared of that rotation. If if I if I could pick any team to face in the playoffs in the AL, that's who I would want, the Astros. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Um I don't know if you want to call them winners, but you know, although the Nationals, I mean, traded the whole fucking the whole village and so did the Cubs. <laughs> The Nationals got some some good talent coming yeah, back in return. You know, mm-hmm. I feel bad for Juan Soto. He's like, dude, what the what the fuck just happened? Juan Solo. You know? 
Yeah, I know, right? Dude, oh, I, I might have to make that into a meme or something. Juan Sol, yeah, that's a good one. But yeah, I think Nationals, they got, you know, good good talent coming back. Um, I don't want to call them winners. I just want, I, I think, I just, what's what's another? They're like the winners as far as the prospects go. In yeah, returns, yeah it, overall, overall, returns. if, if yeah. you look at all the, the teams that traded the, the village, I think the Nationals would be the winners there overall. Um, I think so. it's kind of frustrating to be a Nationals fan right now because they were, I mean, a couple they weeks literally ago. literally just won a couple years ago. Well, and not to mention a couple of weeks ago, they were in the wild card running. Yeah. And it just, it just, it just gave out my wow. buddy, you know, my buddy, Anthony Baca, he, he, you know, he's like, Oh, he's probably either going to go to the giants or the, or the Dodgers. So he's like, well, let's regardless, let's just hope that the nationals lose. So at least the giants could have a chance to, to get them. They definitely lost, but the giants didn't get them. So yeah. Sucks to suck. Mm. I would love to see Kevin Gosman versus Max Scherzer. Yeah. Yeah, but we, you and I both know how that game would go. I'm yeah, good... no, uh-uh. Max Scherzer in the playoffs is in different Oh, yeah, breed. no, that's true. That's true. Yeah. And, and Kevin yeah, Gosman I... would not know what to do. And Scherzer bad is not Gosman bad. I've seen no. Gosman have a bad game, and it yeah. was fucking horrendous. Like, I, I did not want to watch the game. So, uh, but yeah, there's our, our, our winners and, and like, I guess our winners, losers. I mean, uh, we mentioned it. Yeah, we kind of Mariners losers, right? Mariners losers for me. Astros losers, Rays losers. Yep. Giants, in my opinion, losers. But in the middle, they're, there's just they're in the area. middle. Yeah, I'll, I'll give middle. you that. I'll I mean, that. Cardinals, what the fuck? Hey, you guys. Yeah, uh, thanks for coming. <laughs> hey, let's get. I don't know what the hey, fuck they're doing. Hey, the Brewers. Do, what do the What do the Brewers do? They got Norris from the Tigers. Uh, yeah, you know what? They really didn't do much. And uh, granted, the rotation. That's their is, division. Yeah, I mean, at this point, that's their division. It's yeah, not even up for a competition. But the central, the central, like AL and NL Central are not the best. They're Obviously, they're set. Yeah, it's set. It's set in stone. There's no. But here's the thing: is do they win? Do, I am not confident in either one of those teams. I to think win the a fucking... Brewers will beat the the Phillies Who's... or the Mets. I, I think. Oh they will yeah, do that. you right. look at Peralta, right? About Peralta, the greatest Woodruff, division in baseball, and Burns at least. Yeah. Burns, Woodruff, and Peralta, right? Mm-hmm. Five game series. Hey, don't sleep on Brett Anderson, huh? <laughs> Dude, he he's a he's a nomad, you know. A winning he he always goes to like a winning team. I don't think I've ever seen him like on a really shitty team. He's you know I mean? Brewers it's, and Dodgers. Those are the only teams he's played for. Yeah. Uh, did he play for the Jays? I feel like he played for the Jays. Yeah, maybe. Uh, you know, Cahill's another one of those guys, but he's usually on the crappier teams. Like, he, he yeah. was on the Angels when they were Pirates, crappy. Pirates. Poor guy. Giants teams. Yeah, poor guy. <laughs> poor guy, yeah. he. Uh... But I digress. Um, there are some, some winners there. It was exciting if you guys got to, you know, just follow up. Um, yeah, it, hopefully, you know, hopefully come – winter meetings we we see some more moves some more crazier moves because that's usually when it's like huge blockbuster fucking trades and you're like wow i can't believe they just did that the winter meetings is like what makes or breaks you you know uh you know come playoff time especially for those contenders so all right so now just uh just moving on a couple quick hits so as i mentioned uh earlier the yankees rotation is always uh i don't know every every fucking week that someone has covid but um unfortunately I, I i'm not trying to joke around like that it's it's literally that's just how it's been unfortunately but garrett cole and jo- uh, jordan montgomery um tested positive for covid so they're going to be missing a, a start or two uh unfortunately so um wishing them the best hopefully it's not too serious you know uh, on their end in terms of health so um yeah uh Good luck with that. Uh, Tyler Glass now, I was, as we mentioned, uh, scheduled for Tommy John surgery. Uh, big blow uh, to the Rays, especially with, you know, Snell gone, you know, this year when he went to the Padres. Like, it's going to be kind of hard to to be able to, I don't They'll know. still just, find a way. 
yeah, yeah, they'll still find a way, but it's, I mean, that's a big blow, you know, no, Glass yeah. was a huge, yeah. huge blow. And and then you, you trade away Hill who was somewhat consistent, decent, decent. decent. That could have, that could have helped, but you know, it's whatever, you know, to each their own. Um, the other thing uh, in terms of quick hits, the uh, Cleveland Wait. team is Cleveland now, guardians, Cleveland guardians. So this name grew on me. I didn't like it at first, but it, it grew on me. I, I like it. I'm a fan of it. I hate the logo. Yes. I, I think, Very I think double they, could a. Have, they could have. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like they could have done better, I, but the name, I like it. There's some meaning to it, obviously. Um, so, I mean, people are on the fence, right? 50, 50. It is. I mean, it is what it is, right? The, the, the reason of the name change is because of just the in, the insensitive, you know, meaning behind it. You know what I mean? And I, I saw people were like, oh, did they ask Native Americans? Well, it's just a bunch of shit. So it's like, you don't think they didn't ask. You don't think they've, you know, they tried partnering. You think they're just doing it to do it. Because, I mean, this this team, you know, the Cleveland Indians, there's a fucking movie about it, Major League. You know, there's, there's so many things that go into it. Like, you don't think they, they thought that through. Um, so I, I like the name. I, I like the, the meaning behind guardians. Um, I love the fact that Tom Hanks, <laughs> uh, was narrating the, the video. Fucking random. He's it an Ace fan. I, I, okay. Yeah, he's Ace fan. He's from the Bay area, right? Like, mm-hmm. or he went to Chabot college, you know what I mean? Like very random, but they're like, random. okay, they're like, okay, they're not going to like this. But so let's, let's let's get let's Tom him, Hanks. <laughs> let's give him one of the best actors no, of all time. My my favorite part is let's not spend money to make the logo, but let's spend <laughs> money to get Tom Hanks to announce our <laughs> shitty logo. Oh, that's my, my favorite God. part. That's, that's fucking stupid, hilarious. But I, I but again, name is fine. We just I just wish the logo was a little bit better. Yeah. I I don't. Uh yeah. But that's I, any other updates. I mean, those were like kind of the big the biggest the biggest one yeah I, I think you got fucking tony la Russa out here trying to kill people oh yeah that i mean that that was the other thing uh, yeah so you know jose abreu gets hit and i mean he comes in out the, in the noggin in, in the, the noggin. noggin and don't get me wrong was it Caplation that was pitching i can't pronounce his name Capre- yeah, I, don't, I, I, I forgot how to pronounce it no but yeah but something like that but anyways you could tell, like, right off the bat, he felt bad. Like, you think he fucking meant it on purpose, you know? And and here's Tony La Russa. Good, <laughs> good old, good old unwritten fucking rules, La Russa. Coming in. Coming in hot. Fucking, coming in hot. <laughs> coming in hot with his new balance. Now, just like, he's not even he got those new balance shoes. But anyways, fucking comes in. With a hot hand, fucking and and pushes, you know, the catcher and it's just like really starting shit. It's like, dude, what, what are you, what are you thinking? Go, go to your player. S- stay focused on your player. The catcher cares for him. Yep. You guys weren't there. Yep. You were not there when he got hit. The catcher is immediately, immediately, fucking addressing, you know, hey, are you okay? Of course he's gonna be there, and then you got fucking Larusa just sprinting in. Hey there, kid. Not move. Not a fan of that. Not a fan of that move. Um, and it kind of reminds me of another thing. Uh, Javi Baez before he he goes to the Mets. Oh, walk off. Yeah, of, off of Amir Garrett. Mm-hmm. And look, I full disclosure, I absolutely love yep. this. Okay, absolutely love it. But he hits this walk off, right? And he's celebrating. He's walking to first base, paddling, right? Paddling, using his bat as a paddle, mimicking Amir Garrett, talking mm-hmm. shit all the way to first base. And MLB posts it, right? There, it's all over MLB accounts, all not, oh, not, yeah, not yeah. fan yeah. accounts. Yeah, not nope. fan accounts. I'm talking about MLB accounts. Mm-hmm. And you know, I think about Castellanos. Castellanos was suspended yep. for kind of provoking a fight, right? He was literally suspended. Yep. Then here you guys are sharing this mm-hmm. where Baez is, I mean, he's lucky Amir Garrett didn't fucking charge him. Dude. He's really lucky. Yeah, seriously. And they've been going at it for a couple for of years. years now. Like yeah. this is something 
like literally, you know, MLB is promoting it. And, you know, Baez is one of those, those love childs, you know, everyone loves him and everything. And I love him too, but it's like, did you, you promote don't get to, Castellanos? You don't get to choose. Shit? It's, did it's you either right. That? Exactly. It's either right or it's wrong. And it, mm-hmm. it can't be depending on who the player is. And then exactly. Then MLB finds Javi Baez. He doesn't get suspended, which I no don't suspension. think he should have. He, yeah, I don't think he should have been suspended. There, there was no fight. There was no fight. It was just, Correct. you know, ver- but he, verbiage. But he ends up getting fined. So then if I was Javi Baez, I would say, okay, all of that money that you just made off of your social media posts, you know, from the moment I did that, all the jerseys, all the shirts, all the tickets I just sold, I want that money to pay for my fine. That's what I would mm. say. You yeah. and I both know that's not going to happen. But yeah, yeah. MLB promotes stuff to help them. It would be like the NFL, right? The NFL showing all these videos of defensive ends just killing quarterbacks. Fucking land. Yeah, exactly. And then they turn around and fine them for it and flag them for it. It's Mm -hmm. like, so what do you want? You want me to do that so you can kind of post me and get people to follow? Or you don't want that because now you're going to fine me and suspend me and penalize me so yeah no and yeah that yeah that thing that's something that yeah we we didn't mention that's what grinds my gears that grinds my gears yeah come on mlb and uh the uh, the other thing and we didn't touch on this but you know with tony larusa mr fucking the uh unwritten rule fucking larusa german mercedes you know oh yeah he you know he retires and he comes back he's like i'm not fucking leaving you know he's, <laughs> I'm, I'm done with baseball and then actually i'm i'm with baseball this is something that you know wanted to to touch on i was listening to some baseball podcasts and you know obviously they're they're giving mercedes shit because they're you know they're just saying like oh the only reason you got sent down is because you just didn't go- do good you know people you know they just figured it out and I get that pitchers did figure that person out, but for the most part, this game percentage wise is more than 50% mental more than, more than that. Some will say 90% mental, right? Obviously every person's different, but you got to understand that fucked with his psyche. The fact that his own coach didn't back him up and says, I hope he gets hit that fucks you up. And you, you change after that there's events like that that will change your life mentally so with these baseball podcasts you you guys give him shit about the the you know the the fiscal aspect but there's so much more to that you you don't you don't know fucking what he's been through in his life like that could have triggered something maybe his father i don't fucking I'm, i'm being playing devil's advocate but maybe his father did something and that fucking triggered it and now he's 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 broken down. A lot of Dominican players, for them, not for the most part, a lot of a good handful of Dominican players that you've seen have either been caught with PEDs, they've had domestic you know, abuse. They they've there's a good handful of people from the Dominic, Dominican Republic who've had issues, and people even to now aren't addressing it. They're not. They're not identifying that this is actual problem. There's an article that I, I started reading on. I want to, I want to finish it, but it talks about these players being molded at a young age in camp, telling them that you need to be a baseball player. Imagine your whole life, your whole life, your baseball, that's all you have. And then someone comes and takes it away. Well, and, and the other thing about it is the masculinity that are, mm-hmm. that's going on in these camps, right? You're spending yeah. all of your time with nothing but men and yep. it's, it's survival of the fittest. It really, really is. Mm-hmm. It's I'm either going to go to America to feed my family, or you're going to go to America to feed your family and exactly. fuck you. I'm going to feed my family. Right. Mm-hmm. And so it, it, it's just a trickle down effect yeah. starting, it's starting all, from there. It's all mental. And and I, I want to retract my comment. I'm not going to say a good handful or a few. There is a percentage of Dominican players who have been caught 
Correct. with steroids and things like that. And it's obviously, just noticeable. It's, it's, noticeable. it's noticeable. It's noticeable. It's noticeable. There's, there's, you know, American there's players have players. issues, everything. Correct. But I'm just saying, to, uh, I, it, this is what kind of grinded my gears. There was podcasts talking shit about him, but they don't really know the whole story. You know what I mean? Don't understand the the the, the potential mental struggles. I mean, if you think about it. From a mental aspect, this dude said, no, I'm fucking quitting. And then the next day says, no, I'm, I'm coming back. Like, you don't think there was a mental aspect to 100%. that? 100%. My, when I saw these posts, my first thought was, I hope his loved ones and family members are nearby. Exactly. Because this is depression. Yep. This is depression. This is, I, I don't even want to say it, but it's worse than depression. Exactly. Those kinds of thoughts were crossing my mind when I was seeing these posts. Mm-hmm. And kind of to mock him you know yeah he his hitting he had a great fucking april right come may he was already down on a slump but you don't think that one one incident right could go up or or down you hit a home run off of a fucking position player that feels good it's like yep that's what that feels like cool tomorrow i'll hit a home run off your starter too right but then he gets this backlash from from larusa don't fucking swing 3-0 blah 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 right and and now he's you just put the nail in the coffin exactly you put the nail in the coffin and again let baseball players play to their strengths why do we try and change them if you have a quarterback right Mm -hmm. and he's fast and he's good at scrambling i get you want to protect him for injury purposes but why don't you let him run that's what he's good at exactly and it's the same thing vice versa right if i have a quarterback that can stay in the pocket and throw that deep ball why am i going to get him to scramble he's exactly. that's not his game exactly you see tom brady fucking trying to no. score a touchdown running no no here he'll, there he'll, maybe he'll take the 10 yards if you're going <laughs> to yeah, give it to it. him but it, it just just let them play their game yeah exactly so that's what I we went on a little rant there, but that's what kind of grinded my gears a little bit with Larusa and the whole thing, and and just everyone. Obviously, yeah. I mean, yeah, he struggled. I mean, yeah, he fucking they they figured him out. But don't don't go out trying to defend just the 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 statistics of everything. There's so much more, and obviously we give players shit, but we're we're honestly, I'm I, I joke for the most part. These guys, there's a couple podcasts they're very serious in on mm-hmm. um, who they defend not going to mention their names but they defend mm. certain players and attack certain players so um, i'm gonna go one step further and i'll i'll go on the line for it they attack certain ethnic groups and defend yep. other ethnic groups and exactly I'll leave it at that yeah we'll moving leave it forward that. starlin castro so kind of <sighs> going into this starlin castro 30 game suspension domestic violence, sexual assault, and child abuse. This one hurts me personally. I'm kind of, you know, you have your little guys, right? Your Nick Marcakis's of the world. You're, you know, under the radar. Nobody talks about, you know, consistent players, right? Stalin Castro was mine. Yep. Um, he's still young. You mm-hmm. know, this is a guy. He was started not at like to, 20. He yeah. He started when he was playing like 20. He's not going to get to 3,000 hits, and that's not what I'm claiming. But if he would have kept it up, he was definitely a 3,000 hit contender. And I'm not saying he was going to. I know he wasn't going to. But just because of his age, the type of player he was, this is a big blow. I'm not a fan of this. Again, yeah. any any involvement in this kind of stuff, we just fuck you and, and move yeah. on. You're, yeah, right. and and just to clarify, it's still like obviously we he said you know the assault and abuse they didn't address it you know in terms of which one what specifically was. but yeah but it Thank could be all clarifying. three it could be one but just wanted to clarify that but yeah I mean regardless um, you know the Nationals are are more than likely to rela- release them if not already and um, yeah I mean we won't be talking about them too much now no nope, that is it Hector Santiago oh. we defended him with the yep. pine tar shit. And here oh. this motherfucker goes and takes PEDs and gets caught for it. So I'm retracting my statement. Mm-hmm. That was probably some sticky substance that the motherfucker should not have been using. So, yeah. And that could, dude, again, dude. that just grinds my gears, dude. Like, come on. We're he's like, you've been around. You're fucking, I think he was, la- he's like laughing, right? Haha. 
it's probably laughing like, oh shit, luckily they didn't fucking catch the fact that I, I fucking gained 20 pounds in muscle and fucking no the glove, you know. Here's here's my fucking thing, dude. You've been around, you've been in the major leagues, you're older, you're on your way out, you're taking someone's spot. At this point, you're taking someone's spot. Exactly. Just, you don't need to be doing that. I'm not going to defend it, but if he was 20 years old and he's trying to get his spot, this is a little different story. He's had his spot before. Sorry you were on a shitty Angels team. I don't know what to tell you. Go fuck yourself. Deuces. <laughs> um, Speaking of go fuck yourself, uh, yeah. <laughs> here's the other thing that kind of grinded my gears. And, uh, you know, just to let you guys know, if you guys haven't seen Family Guy, that's a, a segment from there. So we're just yeah. uh, – just uh, What's the word? Uh, citing our, uh, our sources. Our, our sources. But anyways, uh, the Cubs farewell videos. Uh, I think I, it was great, well needed, but it's kind of annoying, you know. I mean, you guys fucking did that, you know. Oh, we're so sad to see you go. No, you're not. They're just another fucking number to you. You know, you you, you pull out all all of these, you know, these great videos. And I I fucking teared up. I got choked up. But then I'm like, I told you, I texted you. I was like, dude. If you really wanted to keep him, you could have. Rizzo literally said, I would rather be with a sinking ship than leave. And you said, ah, fuck you. Looking looking towards the next five years. I don't know if I want to make a comment on this one. This one hurts me. Yeah, those, those videos were deep and touching, especially the Rizzo one, what he did mm. there for the community. No disrespect to, to KB or Javi Baez, and I'm sure they did stuff in the community that I don't know of, yeah. but Rizzo was in the community yep. giving back constantly. And, you know, to see that, that's that's what choked me up, right? Yeah. What he did for 2016, what he did for this team, he was, you know, the number one piece. Exactly. You know, the first piece of the puzzle that you lay down. That was him. And that's all great, and I love that. But for me, it's it's the next step above baseball. What he did for that community is what, yep. like, when, exactly. once it got to that part of the video, it's like, oh. I I fucking lost it, dude. Because he, I mean, just his background, right? Where he, where he's come from, Correct. you know, his his, you know, just it, it, yeah, it fucking it hit me, dude. I was like, damn, man. And I'm not a Cubs fan, but I am a fan of of players who stories. You're make a fan of impacts, stories. You're a you know? fan of baseball. Love I mean, that. So yeah, <sighs> the Cubs, come on, man. Like you don't, don't fucking, Oh, be this, try to create this image. But in reality, you don't, you don't fucking care. You, I it's care. all, everyone's a number. Okay. I care. Yeah, I care. I care. <laughs> Fuck yeah. But like Cubs don't, don't act like, Oh, no. you know, <clears throat> but, and then the other, okay. So we have two more, uh, three, I, I guess we, we got a couple them. more. We skipped okay. the first top. Two. Okay. So the, yeah, well, I'll do the first one with, with the Mariners. So <laughs> So it's not a big deal, not a big deal, but the Mariners manager, uh, Scott Cervese or Cervese, I don't Scott know Cervias. Know, Cervias, whatever, he comments, you know, they're asking about the trade deadline, you know, how do they feel? And he says, I like the spot that we're in right now. I really do. We're in a good spot with our offense, and I like how our lineup is constructed with the balance and depth we have. We're deeper than it has ever been at any point of the season, and that excite me. excites me. That's great that your offense is doing great, but your fucking bullpen is not it. You traded away Graveman. You traded away a guy who wanted to play for you, and you guys traded him away. This – I don't care about your offense. You literally have to fucking no. – Let, let, let me ahead. enter the chat. Go ahead. Yep, 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 yep. Let's look at their offense. Let's – please let's look at their offense. Mitch Hanniger? He's great. I love Mitch Hanniger. Yep. You've known that. I've loved Mitch Hanniger for a couple of years now. Okay. Outside of that, what else do they have? And I know they've been doing good lately. Do not get me wrong. Put that lineup up against the A's, up against the Astros, up against the Jays, up against the Rays, the Red Sox. Anyone that's going to take a playoff spot from the Mariners, their lineup ain't shit. So you didn't go get a bat, which you probably should have done. You didn't yep. help your bullpen. You didn't exactly. help. I mean, okay, whatever. They somewhat helped their rotation. Not enough to do anything. Yeah, yep. it's a joke. 
but so that that's what pissed me off it's like okay he, he wants a job though good, he yeah wants a job what is he gonna say oh what, is he, what do you want him to say God, that that's irritates. the other they, side of the it. mariners had such a good a good chance and they probably still do i don't know but it's no, just like don't. fuck man you, you had it you literally had it. you know people talk mets are gonna met the mariners, mariners are, are gonna, gonna mariner. mariner last time you know the last time they made the playoffs 1998 or some shit i don't know 2001 2001 there you go they were a couple games out in 2014 i believe and that is it not a good look not not a good look god kumar rocker oh god this kumar rocker 10th overall to the new york mets he's not a new york met the mets did not make him an offer or i'm sorry they probably didn't, they didn't make sign him, him an offer. They made him no. They made him, him offer. They didn't sign him. They did not sign him uh, because of the quoting injuries. Um, they didn't like what they saw from the docs this year. Um, MLB did something different, which I really like that they did this. Um, yeah. Pitchers could opt into an MRI before the draft. Just do an MRI on your elbow. Show show teams that hey, you know my elbow is good to go. Uh, Kumar Rucker declined. So that's for me, that's step one. And yeah, you don't have to do this, right? It's optional. But if you don't have anything to lose, why aren't you going to do it? So <clears throat> that was step one. Um, and they have their doctors take a look at him and say, you know, this is what he has going on. And they didn't like what they heard what they got back and so they didn't make him an offer and now the, here's the shitty part he has a couple options he could go back to vanderbilt which he's not going to do yeah there's no <laughs> um he cannot sign with another team so say the yankees just as an example say the yankees come in and say hey we'll, we'll pick you up nope nope no mlb team can take him so right now as of now he is opting to take the year just to rehab, get ready, get ready to be picked up next year. Um, he can go overseas. He can play, play independent ball. He can play independent ball. Luke Hoshaver. Yeah. Came from there. So. Yeah. And the guy a couple of years ago, can't remember his name. Uh, Braves drafted him like eighth overall. And then they didn't sign him either. And so he went to uh, Japan. Remember. I can't. I can't he, was, remember. he was a top prospect. He oh, made okay. six million dollars to go to Japan. I can't remember his name. Why not? Fuck it. You know. But yeah, it's it's unfortunate. You know. Again, it's like this business and uh, aspect. And obviously, you know, Rocker. You know, you know, he has his arm issues. I guess supposedly. But again, it comes down to this business aspect thing again, right? It's just that they're just. He's just another number to them. You know what I mean? Yep. An investment. You know, that's what they were saying. He's an investment. Yeah, he is. But like, he's a so person here's the too. best part. Here's the best part. The Mets get two first round draft picks next year because they did not sign him. So, and they save money. Dude, all of their, the all the people that they signed, they literally gave them, uh, their, the offers were un, under the value under the, of what they're under the slot value. Uh, yeah. Under that slot value. So here's my thing. Okay. I'm calling – this is going to be my conspiracy. I think they did this on purpose. Mm. Kumar Rocker dropped to them, and it was, uh, hey, let's get him. Mm. And let's not sign him. Yeah. And let's let's go into next year and get two first-rounders. I would, I would do the same. If you can get away with this legally, I would do the same. Why, why wouldn't you trade one draft pick? one first round draft pick to get two next year. It's a fucking no brainer. And it's guaranteed that they have the 10 slot, right? Because yep. of, yeah. So yep. they are definitely not going to, if, if, if they sign rocker, they were not going to get the 10 slot. Like that's, that's the reality yep. of it based off of nope. the, you know, just the record the standings. And yeah. yeah. They probably would have been that's, like 16, 17, somewhere that's, in there. I mean, that, that, that could happen. Yeah. So this is something that needs to be addressed uh, this yeah, offseason during the collective bargaining. Here's a tweet from Stephen Cohen, you know, uh, if you know, with the yeah. Mets. 
He said, education time. Baseball yeah. draft picks are worth up to five times their slot value to clubs. I never shy away from investments that can make me that type of return. Did he say players? Nope. He said Invest- fucking investments. How investment. fucked up is that? Just, I mean, a business aspect, I get that. But it's like, damn. That's, You're an that investment. just shows you. Mm-hmm. It's just about the money, the number. That's That's all it is. Yep, it's unfortunate. So that that's what really pisses me off. I mean, Rocker. Okay, here's a here's another fucking thing. I mean, if you think about it, I'm gonna butcher his his fucking name. Bruce Dar Gratterall. Bruce Dar Gratterall. Yep. He right with that trade. You know, when it all was said and done, who was it to? It was between the Red Sox, the Dodgers, and who else? The, the twins? twins. The Twins. And they opted out right because of his. His elbow. Elbow. It doesn't have he's had, great numbers. He he's had some numbers. injuries this year. He has had but, some injuries this year, but last year he was great. Yeah. I mean, take a chance. You know what I mean? And it's not gonna it's, it's not about the chance. I think this was a predetermined yeah. let's draft him. Let's just yeah, I think so. Him. I mean I that that could potentially happen. So that pisses me off because that it's just it just sucks. You know what I mean? These are kids that either only dream is to play for baseball or play baseball, and then you get drafted and oh fuck you. We're not gonna draft you. Oh, and, and also MLB's saying fuck you, you can't go anywhere else because we have this set in place. So yep. that that pisses me off. Uh, Whatever thing, oh, sorry. you can protect the owners, always yep. protect the owners, not exactly. the players. Exactly. So that pisses me off. The last thing is, uh, you know, during the trade deadline, I, I, I love I love all the reporters. I love the writers, you know, <laughs> giving us updates. I hate the fucking fake accounts. That's what I, I hate. I the fake hate. accounts. I, I hate that they're doing speculations. They say sources, but sometimes there's no fucking sources. Sometimes they're their own source. Or, yeah. You're yeah. And then weren't you telling me Bob Nightingale like said he talked to a couple friends? Yes. Todd Nightingale friends claims that he talked to a couple of Trey Turner's friends um, saying that Trey told him, told them that he does not want to play for a West Coast team and does not want to play any other position besides shortstop. Well, so, false. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> times two. So imagine, well, right? You're friends with a baseball player. Imagine this baseball player just comes up to you and goes, hey, I don't want to play on the West Coast. And hey. I don't want to play shortstop. Like, who the fuck's just going to randomly say that? Exactly. Exactly. It's and stupid. I mean, they, sources, right? Fucking, they could call the clubhouse dugout. Hey, is Rizzo still in your, is, is Rizzo still in the clubhouse right now? No, oh, I don't see okay. him. Okay. Oh, Rizzo, Rizzo's getting traded today. He's yeah. gone. Like, He's taking a come, shit. Like, come on. It's, I get it. You know, you want to hype it up, but fuck, it's so irritating it's every fucking year john Heyman. every so so every fucking year john Heyman. every fucking year uh, nightingale you know uh, jeff mm-hmm. passan was like hey dude this isn't me fucking tweeting this shit you know yeah. like dude, it's just every fucking year like come on you know he fucking sure he's just going to the padres no he's going to the giants no he's fucking going to the east coast oh wait no he's, he's going, going to the, the angels Dodgers. the angels were the fucking mystery team at one point it's okay that's that's great they're a mystery team why do i care i want to know who the fuck he's going to like come on yeah yep. it's irritating it's it's not going to change i'm it's just a expressing good how- way to get you to sign up for the athletic exactly exactly all about the moolah if jeff passan or ken rosenthal ain't tweeting it i don't fucking care what you're nope. saying nope just saying nope nope, nope. all right <laughs> lighter note let's get get give some love 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 to some players who deserve it miguel cabrera 498 he's two away from that's home runs Joining the 500 club. Exactly. 500 homers, 500 500 dingers. 500 home runs. And nobody is talking about it. No, he's not getting the love because he plays for the Tigers because he's a little washed up. This guy is one of the – he's the best – He's (laughs) he's the best hitter of our era that's not named Mike Trout. Post-steroids. Yeah. That was a lot of one of 
<laughs> I mean, you could you could argue one of the top three or top five Venez- Venezuelan baseball players of all time. Yeah, you could say that. Yep, potentially. Yep, but one of the best first basemen of but, all time. Hey. Give him some love. This guy has been grinding it out. This guy's had so many freaking injuries the past couple of years, and he's still grinding it still out. Still here. Still fighting. Here. Fucking went through DUIs. Hasn't requested a trade. Fucking has went not, through everything. <laughs> has not requested a trade um, to get away from the Tigers. So Give, <laughs> give him, him some, some love. love. He's done so much. He's gone so much. Fucking, you got Roger Clemens throwing at his head. He was at the Marlins. That could have yeah. fucked him up, but it didn't. He needs some love. Yeah. Uh, another great first baseman. Oh, yeah. Another great first baseman. 28 dingers this year. Batting 280, above 280. Give him some love. Come on, to baby. To Matty O, baby. Matty Olsen. Matt Come Olsen. Come on. Top he- five in home runs. He's literally three away from Tatis. And nobody, <laughs> nobody is hyping him up. Nobody's talking talking him up. If there he, was a home run race for 60 and he was at 30 and everyone else was at 30, nobody would fucking bring him nope, up. Nope. Nope. He's the second best first baseman right now this season. Number one is obviously Vladdy Jr. Yep. And that's not debatable. Exactly. He's number two. Number two, in my opinion. Max Muncy, you could argue, but yeah. Just Matt give Olson's him some love. Right give him some appreciation. There. Go go to the Coliseum and support your players, not the, the leaders, obviously. Fuck them. But, you know, support, support Matty O. Support the team. Support the team, man. Go out there. Fucking cheer on his name. This dude could, could hit 50. Could, potentially. Maybe. He not too sure. 40, 46 in my books. Hey, that's a great year. Come on, yep. man. Give him some love. Uh, yep. The last person – is Cedric Mullins. And a lot of you are like, who the fuck is that? (laughs) Well, Cedric Mullins has the second most hits in Major League Baseball this season. Right behind Adam Frazier. Literally two hits away. Everyone's talking about Adam Frazier because now he's on the Padres. But they weren't before. Mm -hmm. And the the top two contact hitters were on – the worst two teams. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. That Very is an interesting, interesting concept. Ah, MLB. What are we doing? Huh? Ah. Interesting. But come on, give this guy some love. I this did dude... not give this man some love. I kept him off of my all star voting for the outfield. I honestly thought he was going to die down by now. Nope. Not he yet. He has not done it. He or has not. not. And come on, just, yeah, just give him some love. Look him up. Cedric Mullins, this dude. I mean, come on. He deserves it. He needs Blow it. Give him a kiss. Come on. Oh, Shout wow. Outs. Wow. Hold on. We got to stop here. We we finally ended a good uh, handful on a of good content note. on a good note. Wow. We're not depressed. Look at that. Hell We're yeah. not depressed. Wow. Um, Jesus Lazardo goes to Miami. He's from Florida. Grew up a Marlins fan. Uh, made his Made his Marlins debut in front of some friends and family. He got the W. He got hell the yeah. W. And that's, hell that's yeah. awesome. That is that, awesome. Hell yeah. Good for Again, him. Good to see him in the best. majors. Yep. I wish nothing but success for him. Um, after seven years in baseball, I hope he does really good. His first six years, I hope he does decent. <laughs> <laughs> Once contract. his uh, rookie contract oh is up. Oh, my God. Once his oh. rookie contract's up, I hope he's the fucking oh. best pitcher of all time. Oh, my God. But until his rookie contract is up, I hope he does Decent. league average. League average. 500. Yeah. 500 at best. Um, the, Six the other, wins a year. <laughs> uh, um, the other thing, that uh, it's uh, this was recently announced, so the uh, Hard and Hustle Award. Uh, so just give you some context. I'm going to read this off so I might sound like a robot. Uh, but this esteemed award honors active players who demonstrate a passion for the game of baseball and best embody the values, spirit, and traditions of the game. The Hard and Hustle Award is also the only award in Major League Baseball that is voted by or voted on by former players. So former players are the ones that are, are, are you know, seeing this. So 
there's every every player every player has this but here's just a, a couple to to name and for some reason it was cut off but Matty O um was oh it's there it's there never mind it's on but uh the first one again we we said show him some love Cedric Mullins he's baby he's Cedric there Mullins. come on you go through this list I mean Devers Tim Anderson Fletcher David Fletcher give him some love exactly Mitch Hanniger Joey Wendell Salvador Marcus Perez Simeon Chris Taylor, Brandon Crawford, the Nationals representative, <laughs> Trey Turner. <laughs> good, uh, good names on this list. Good guys. Yeah, exactly. So good shout players. out to all of you. Shout out to all of yeah. you. This is this is awesome. Um, and you know what? I, I, I don't agree with. I mean, I don't disagree. Sorry, I don't disagree with any of these choices here. I think this is a good, uh, good picks here. I don't um, want to find one to disagree with. I mean, you could say Jose Altuve, but I mean, it's hard to disagree with any of these. Yeah, no, yeah, I can't. Uh, Jose Altuve, he's you know obviously with the the shit, but come on, there's. In it's the not past. that I disagree with Jake Cronenworth, but I just want some more love for Manny Machado on what he yeah. has adapted to become with the Padres. I I agree. I I think that that could be. That could be, uh, and it's not that I d- disagree with Cronenworth. It's just I think Machado needs some love for this Sh- shit. I mean, Musgrove could have got that. Yeah, too. that's a good one. It. Yeah, but I mean, you figure every single team has a couple players that. Oh yeah, you could yeah, be putting sure. in this this role. Yeah, but yeah, shout out to you all. Um, keep doing what you're doing. We, you know, this is when we talk about just promoting and growing the game. These guys right here are paving that way. You know, yep. these are, these are, I hope, you know, some of these names are, some people don't necessarily know, but uh, I might include the link so they can, they can look at it, but look up these players and, you know, give them some appreciation. They deserve it. They mm-hmm. deserve it. You guys deserve some appreciation listening oh, yeah. to us. Yeah. Thank in, you. Thank out. you for, thank you for all the, all the support on Instagram and, uh, and TikTok and even listening feedback um, yeah the feedback we didn't promote one of the episodes and we still got a good handful of listens which is which yep. is great so we love didn't it. even have to ask so i appreciate you all for for listening in love it top of the lineup out baby deuces <laughs>